Does your homeowners association have a non-resident parking problem? Have you notified the offenders? Have you posted a sign? Has your community been invaded by non-resident parkers like these? Here's the scene we faced every morning. That is, before we confronted the issue head-on. If so, there is a practical six-step systematic method to counter the non-resident parker problem. The, met the method is passive and not confrontational. Understanding and eliminating non-resident parking on Whetstone Drive is based on statistical process control. The method is described here and examples shown are drawn from a recent real-life application of the method in our community. Number one, baseline the current state of non-resident parking. Number two, impact the current state with HOA logo letters on windshields. Number three, baseline the new state. Number four, impact the new current state with street signs. Number five, baseline the new current state. Number six, address special causes. Establish a baseline of non-resident parker behavior with respect to repeat offenders, new arrivals, and weekday versus weekend patterns. Collect data once a day, early in the morning, before people leave for the day. For example, from 6 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. And do this for a week or two. Here is an example of raw data collection. Each day, the non-resident license plates are recorded. Each dot beside a license plate indicates the number of previous appearances. In this way, persistent violators are readily identified. Here is the raw data summarized and presented as refined data. Compute statistics for total non-resident parkers, repeat offenders, and new arrivals, including totals, averages, standard deviation, and upper and lower control limits, based on the average plus or minus one standard deviation, and do this for a week or two. Here is the total non-resident parkers and a computed upper and lower uh, control limit shown graphically. The expression for computing control limits is upper control limit equals the average plus one standard deviation. The lower control limit equals the average minus one standard deviation. Impact the current state with the letter containing the HOA logo placed neatly on the windshield, informing the outside parker that parking is for residents, not non-residents, and highlight any public safety concerns, such as uh, an open fire uh, lane or snow removal. Once informed through the letter, a number of non-residents will comply and discontinue their non-resident parking practice. With the herd thinned, the, the hardcore repeat offenders uh, may still continue to persist. Also, new arrivals may continue to appear randomly. Interestingly enough, there has been only one instance in one week of an offender discarding the letter on the street an indication that offenders are not dismissive and may be taking the notice seriously. Re-establish a new baseline of non-resident Parker behavior. As before, collect data for a week or two. After a week, it is a good practice to change up the color of the letter, say from white to red. This communicates will, commitment, and persistence all intended to discourage the offender. The color change resulted in a measured reduction, as shown here. The transition to new control limits reflects the response to the letter, and then the color change up, and indicates that progress is being made in curtailing non-resident parking. The offenders are fewer and more predictable, 
reaching zero on July 4th. Further, impact the new current state with a no parking sign, worded for desired effect, such as non-resident parking prohibited, or resident parking only, or parking by permission only. The sign is designed to up the ante on hardcore repeat offenders and to discourage uh, the random new arrival. This is a powerful sign designed to impact any non-resident parking offender. As before, reestablish a new baseline of non-resident parker behavior. The results from this new baseline are the final results of the passive method. If necessary, address special causes that may need to be dealt with. For example, abandoned cars should be reported to the police for removal. Out-of-state persistent offenders might also be reported to the police for license plate violations. With some persistence and the practical six-step systematic method to counter the non-resident parker problem, your street too can be free of outside parkers at the end of the day. Here is my contact information. I would be happy to receive questions and have discussions with people on this important subject.